hello and uh, I have to say hello to you and I know that most people all over the world wherever you are uh, to the members of the tribe I want to say Shabbat Shalom to the Christian community I want to say the peace of Christ Jesus I give unto you unto the Islamic peoples I say Salam Assalamu Alaikum and unto the Hindus the Buddhists I say whatever you all say but to the people of the Voodoo movement and to the people of the believers of that movement who is working towards the resurrection I say to you, Vive la Macandal, Vive la Macandal, Vive la Macandal, Vive la Macandal. Hello and thank you for granting me this opportunity to come into your world wherever you may be, in your car, on your phone, somewhere, taking a walk, on the parkway. And today I wanted to talk about the meaning of Labor Day. You see, so many of us today, so many people just don't know nothing. Um, among, for example, the Negro peoples of the United States of America, for an entire generation and a half, they have been wandering in the wilderness, in the promised land. Like the Bible says of the children of Israel when they came out of Egypt. Uh, many of the people have no knowledge about the struggles even of our descendants from slavery, of the fight against the racist ideologies of the United States of America, uh, the racist laws, uh, the reformation that had taken place, and how even after the reform, the laws are being repealed. Many of the youth, whatever you call them, millennials, Generation X, Generation Z, Generation X, Generation Elon Musk. So everybody now and the media at large speaks of Labor Day. And when they speak of Labor Day, they say it is the official end or the unofficial end of summer. And they portray Labor Day as a day when people have their last cookout, you know, call it barbecue, whatever you want, uh, to get out of summer. And they get drunk and this weekend a lot of people will die in accidents so be taken in for driving while under the influence of alcohol but the media the media and the society is the reason why this is happening because we have gone away from what really is the meaning of Labor Day and then one of the most pronounced things is that a lot of the people from the Caribbean Bassini area who are settled in New York City and I have to go back and research how this phenomena and this tradition came to happen but on today they will have parades on Eastern Parkway in New York City and in some places they may have collisions with other members of the tribe if you know what I mean so for them today, they're going to have a parade, they're going to strip naked, walk in the streets, get drunk, puke, get arrested. And all this weekend, they've had parties that have lasted from sun up till sundown or from dusk till dawn. And there is one thing that is common among the Negro peoples of the world that may be something in their genetics. When it comes to party, when it comes to fat, I don't care if it's a fresh off the boat Negro from Nigeria or from the motherland, if you tell them you're having a party, they're going to come. They're going to show up. One is going to bring the rum. One is going to bring the food. One is going to bring the music. And one is going to make it their mission to let the women know that we are having a party. So this weekend been a weekend of party. And today will be the culmination 
of that party with the parade on Eastern Parkway in New York City. And there you will see our people behaving in decadence, in debauchery, and high of drugs, alcohol, and other things. And the rest of the United States of America, other people will be on the lakes, other people will be in the, having their cookouts or what they call their barbecues. They'll consume large quantities of beer and of alcohol. And they'll say it's Labor Day, but what is Labor Day? My dear believers and unbelievers alike, friends and foes alike, those who are interested in hearing some different. Labor Day is not a day about partying. Labor Day is not a day about getting drunk. Labor Day is a day that was set up in recognition of the sacrifices of workers and for the rights of workers to receive a proper wage and to work under proper working conditions. It just so happened here in the United States of America. We decided that it would be the first Monday in September. And so maybe Labor Day next year will be a whole week from today. But before there was Labor Day, there were working conditions here in the United States of America, as it were in all places of the world, where people had to fight, where people had to strike the right for trade unionism, the right to unionize. That is what Labor Day is about. Labor Day is about the days when People were demanding a better pay, a better work condition, and they had the police. In those days, uh, they were called uh, Pinkin Pinkinton. Pinkinton, I think that's the right name. They were the ones who were hired to beat the people over their heads and to break the strikes. Labor Day is a day to recognize the sanitation workers. The, the people who work in your office building that you call the janitors, the lowest of the law among us. Labor Day is the day you recognize the people that cut your grass. Labor Day is the day you recognize the undocumented millions of migrants from Latin America that are here in the United States of America that have to go and pick your vegetables and pick your fruits for you. Labor Day is the day when you recognize that the millions of undocumented and semi-documented Latin American migrants that are here building your houses for you, that are here looking after you when you're no longer able to take care of yourself, you can no longer bathe, you can no longer wash yourself, is that foreign immigrant worker that has to come and look after you and give you your medicine and bathe you and turn you around. That is Labor Day. So like I was saying, Labor Day is about the struggle of workers. The struggle of workers and back in the 20th century and the 19th century, uh, conditions were not very right for working people. And that's too as part of, you know, you went from slavery to capitalism and under capitalism, uh, for capitalists to make money, they have to have abusive conditions for workers and um, deprive workers of many things. And that's how the struggle uh, and the trade unionists and the organization of workers to demand better pay and better working conditions came, came about. And so today in the United States of America was set aside to recognize workers. Uh, to recognize our teachers, to recognize our doctors, to recognize our professors, to recognize our nurses, to recognize those people that really matter to running the society. 
Look at the workers at the grocery store, the meat cutters, the butchers, the 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 street sweepers, the the most lowest of people that you walk by every day and you don't give no attention to your your man on your elevator man, you know all these people who help to give you that rare standard of living that you have today in the United States of America. Now I want to tell you something. There are multiple Labor Days in the year. The original and the main Labor Day, which most of the world recognize, is the first of May. It's called International Workers' Day, May Day. But the United States of America itself will not recognize May Day because May Day came across and about as a result of communism and socialism, whereby there was another struggle for workers' rights and for people's rights. And so May Day is International Workers' Day. Labor Day here in the United States is only Labor Day for the United States of America. It's like saying that they have the baseball, International Baseball League, or the World Baseball, and the only people playing in the baseball is the United States and Canada. Okay, so it's a United States baseball thing, it's not a world thing. It's not like soccer, it's not like football. So anyway, today I wanted to take an opportunity to express solidarity and congratulations with all of those people, including uh, down there in Plano, Texas, the, um, the roofers, the roofing workers, the undocumented that have to come and put our roof back together for us after the hailstorm. And guess what? And you wouldn't even let them in your house to have a cup of water or to use your toilet. They got to go to McDonald's to use the toilet. I am saying to you that this is what Labor Day really is supposed to be about. And I hope that you don't just eat and get drunk and fall asleep today. But remember the workers, remember the janitor, remember the street sweeper. Remember the people who come and collect our garbage every week and who pick up our recycling every month. Remember those people. That is what Labor Day is about. And to my people who are out there partying today in New York City, I say to you, if ever one day you learn how to organize for business the way you organize for party, you will control the world. As always, I bless you. And I have another story to tell you, uh, a story of how I became important and how I became a political prisoner and how I finally discovered and exposed the fact that I am on a list. I am a targeted person. I am a political prisoner here in the United States of America and they have attempted and acted on it. But I will save that for you for a different time. Today we will stick simply to what is Labor Day. I bless you as always. Shabbat Shalom. The peace of Jesus I give unto you. Assalamu alaikum. Long live Francois Macandal. Long live the Macandalis. Long live the Macandal movement. Long live the Economic Freedom Fighters Movement. Long live the fight, the second fight. And if we have to go back to the bush, we will go back to the bush to fight for our freedom all over again. Aluta continua, aluta continua, aluta continua.